Hey peeps, so I'm back with some makeup tutorials and of course they are for Valentine's Day. I wanted to do some things that are really creative, so this look is really creative. I tried some new things, so I hope you guys really like it and appreciate my attempt on creativity. <laughs> Here's the final look right here, so please keep watching to see how I got this look and make sure that you go ahead and thumbs up now and you subscribe now down below. And Here I am with a fresh face and my eyebrows done. And of course I have on my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. And I will be using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And you see me first using Red Ochre. Um, that is four down on the bottom. And I'm just going to build that up so you don't want to put a lot at first. You just want to put a little bit just to kind of test out the color and whatnot and to be able to build it up because if you put a lot on first then it's going to look crazy and you'll have to do a whole lot of blending to kind of tone it down so you definitely don't want to do that you just want to build it up slowly and of course for a face primer I already had that on when I went to go ahead and film so that was the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is one of their top sellers I'm still deciding if I really like it or not I want to use it with a different foundation um, I kind of haven't been liking it but I think I might be pairing it with the wrong foundation so that might be the case and not the primer so I'll let you guys know that and do a little review sooner than later so I'm still building up that red ochre and here you see me going ahead and putting on the second color which that second color is love letter that was in the top row on the palette but we're just going to blend that in to meld those two colors together once again that love letter is on the top row and it's the second from last blending is the key guys you know just blend 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 sometimes I'd be sick and tired of blending but just gotta do it and then you see me with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and that is in Toffee. So of course we're doing the infamous technique of getting a cut crease type of effect. And this is the first time that I've actually done it in a serious manner. So it did take me a long time. Do not be fooled by this video being sped up. It took me a long time. Especially to get both eyes to kind of match each other which was really difficult because my left eye is the space is wider like I have more space on the left eye than the right eye so it matching is more so an illusion than a fact and you just want to take your time doing that And I was just using a precision brush and this was actually one of the Sephora brushes. Um, so you can use any precision brush. This one is rather tapered and pointy. And the brush that I was using to blend all of the colors, that was the Morphe M441 brush. And then right here you see me using a pixel point brush. Actually, it's like, I can't tell what the name of it is, but it is a Real Techniques brush. It's actually been wiped off of my brush, so I can't tell what the actual name is. So now you see me finally packing on the black which is Crave from the Naked Basics Mini Palette. 
And this black is really, really pigmented. So that's why I just wanted to build it up at first because I didn't want it to be too crazy, especially if I turned out not to like it. And right here, you can see that I'm not going all the way to the line because we're gonna go ahead and put a liner on there. And here is the liner right here. It is pink, it's the NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Petal color. It's called Vivid Petal. And you just wanna go as slow as you possibly can. And you don't wanna accidentally flick your hand or anything because it'll be a wrap. Just gonna put that on as slow as possible. And you see I kind of messed up a little bit, but it's okay. We're going to go in and fix that and I will show you guys that in just a few seconds. Okay, so as you can see here, I am going in with my liquid liner, and that is the Maybelline New York Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And I just went in to use that to kind of clean it up. And then you see me using a brush to go ahead and actually uh, kind of, I'm kind of blending out the liner pretty much. I may have put some of the Crave back on there also to help clean it up. And you just see me trying to blend everything out. Once again, I'm taking the LA Pro Conceal in Toffee to go ahead and create a little heart. So here is the creativity part of it all. And it was really hard. Well, the first heart actually was not hard to do, but then trying to get the second heart to match was really difficult. So the hearts don't match, but at first glance, nobody can tell. And if you can get this heart to be perfect, go ahead, boo. But I wanted to use the concealer first just to get the shape. Um, and if something did get messed up, I could just go back over the concealer really easily. And also, I do apologize for this part being blurry. I have no idea why it was blurry. I mean, I guess we all know why it was blurry. It wasn't focusing. But I don't know why it wasn't focusing. I thought it was focusing. And you just want to go as slow as you possibly can with this. And once again, I'm using that Sephora brush with the point to do this. So you just want a precision brush that is the pointiest and thinnest possible. And then I'm just waving my face to kind of get that to dry. This is about when I noticed that it wasn't focusing. <laughs> And then here's just a visual representation of what that black eyeliner, liquid eyeliner looks like. And this is the only eyeliner that I use. I've tried to use other ones before and it just didn't work out and yeah, I just don't have time for the game. 
and I'm cleaning cleaning up the heart with that liquid liner just like I did the other line that we did with the pink I just thought it would be easier and more precise to use the liquid liner and then you see me go back in with some of the crave to kind of darken it up and make the heart stand out some more And now I'm finally going ahead and using the NYX white liquid liner to color in the heart. And this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer Orange Color Corrector. I did kind of use a little bit too much, so you don't need to use that much. And then I am putting on my Maybelline Fit Me foundation, and that is in the color 355 Coconut. And then I'm using the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation in Chestnut number 9 to actually contour. And the brush that I used for the foundation was Morphe M439. And then I'm using a black Sephora blending brush to go ahead and do all of my contouring. And I'm using the Missy Lynn eyeshadow and baked highlighter palette. I'm using either one of the golds, either one will work, or a gold that you just have on hand will work if you don't have this palette because it might have been limited edition. And the brush you see me using is a Real Techniques blush brush to actually apply that. And the blush that I do go ahead and use and put on off camera is the NARS Seduction. For mascara, I use the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original in Black is Black. And I also use the NYX Matte Finish for setting spray. And the lashes I used were Ardell Professional Double Up for the bottoms and Wispies for the top. And this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching and all details will be in the bottom.